My name is Jennifer Trask. I'm an artist, and like most artists, I experiment with many different materials and techniques. I am a very curious person, and I love to learn about various materials. Uh, this leads to experiments and research, and often that is where the ideas are derived from. The flora and fauna the mutants, the accidental cultivars, as I like to call them, are very specifically about how we manage nature, how we see ourselves as separate, and we have been more or less curating natural features, plants and animals, often with unexpected results. There's a lot of bone in this work, and uh, antler and wood. I don't think of bone as a morbid material. I think it's a powerful uh, material in its latent narrative, and it's a reminder of life and death. Bone retains obscure mementos of our experience of how a life was lived, of injuries, of chemicals or foods that we were in contact with, environmental conditions. The wearable pieces, uh, the neck pieces made mostly of bone, are meant to be extensions of the wearer's own bones and experience, almost like a, an outward embodiment of internal ideas, a collection of thoughts and presumptions. The primary material uh, that I utilized in the most recent work for the last few years is calcium carbonate. Calcium carbonate is a part of bone, it's not the only compound. Encroachment, the oval wall piece that looks like a painting coming to life, is a good example of my love of taking or moving from two dimensions to three dimensions. This painting looks as if it's decayed, it's slumped, but at the same time, it's coming back to life. There's calcium crystals that literally grow out and ooze out in a lustrous sort of accretion. Ephelores is the tall, thin piece in the corner that appears to be oozing out from the wall or into the wall. Ephelores sprouts growth from the original calcium carbonate, or gesso, underlayer in the wooden gilt and gesso-covered frame fragments. This piece came about after some of this travel in Europe where I was looking at buildings that had been repaired, or maybe they were weathered by the elements, but you couldn't quite tell what was original and what was new, what had been added on and what had been taken away. Civilizations built on top of other civilizations. They fascinate me not just for the cultural or visual depth and richness, but I see a parallel in the natural order of things. For me, there's a lot of beauty in that mystery, in that not knowing. And I hope that's where my work lands for a lot of people. I want them to walk away with a sense of curiosity, with questions, and at best, a reconnection with that sense of wonder that we all have as children.